All right, so we arrived at the property. Man, look how clean it looks, dude. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are back at our property and we're gonna do a lot more cleanup. We still got a little bit of piles going right there and we got this trailer we need to demolish completely and clean out. So let's not waste any time, get started and see where it takes us. Check this out, we just went freaking ham. We got beams in here, everything. Got the heavy axles. This is probably the, the heaviest stuff over here, this whole entire rear section of this trailer, but man, we're going ham, dude. It's tough, that but it's done. so fun, too. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, but this stuff right here is too heavy sometimes for these machines right here, but dude, we completely destroyed that trailer. Yeah, all that's pretty much trash. We just gotta separate all the little metal metal pieces out of there that way the way we can get some money back for this man yeah i wonder how much this is gonna weigh yeah you know? me too I'm, I'm interested in that too i don't know how we're gonna uh scrap with these tires on them they probably will take it with the yeah tires they'll definitely stuff. take this we just say whatever man just just give us what you can just give us what we you need can. it out of the way there may be uh we may have, uh, can call a dumpster for metal out here yeah we may even do that yeah, you throw all this in the dumpster. We may need a big dumpster too, because there's tons of it here. But yeah. we're getting some work done, man. We're using both of the machines at the same time to our advantage. Like to, to move that, we use both of them. Yep. So these things are freaking the perfect. They're, they're putting in the work. Perfect dude. pair, dude. We're putting them in to work. That's for sure, because these things probably ne never ran as hard as we do right here. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Look at this pile of. I don't even know how this stuff got here, dude. Honestly, there's like branches and stuff like branches pieces of wood it looks like an old fence or something like that so everything right here is basically gonna go straight into the dumpster so we don't have much sunlight left so we need to keep going and hopefully clean this whole entire property up Big old pile, beautiful view. I love the view up here. Dumpster is full. This is really sketchy. But yeah, we could pack down that garbage can a little bit more. Good bit of stuff in there, but we should be able to pack it down. You're really not supposed to go over the top there. Sometimes they won't even take it. But as you can see here, it is nice and clean. And that's probably gonna be it for today um, tomorrow hopefully we could probably get all that stuff together and scrap it see how much money we can get for it or something like that so let's see what we're gonna do next go ahead take your guess how much you think we got right there um I'd say probably like 200 I mean 300 you gotta make up your mind 200 or 300 because I'm about to make a guess myself all right I'm gonna say with uh with that piece too with the axles that, with the axles and stuff i'd say probably 400 bucks 400 bucks okay that'd be that's a good lick right there maybe i don't know how much we did scrap some aluminum uh not too long ago and it was a good bit of money so this is all still so maybe way cheaper so yeah i'm thinking like 300 i'm gonna say 300 you uh, say I'm, 400 yeah i'll say 400 we'll see i guess tomorrow probably because it's uh it's already kind of Kind of late in the day. Right Everything's now. closed, yeah. yeah. So but, I guess uh, we're gonna load this sucker up right here. I don't know if we're gonna have this tomorrow even. So yeah, we'll see. We may rent it one more day, or we may just uh, get a grinder out here or or a, the cutting torch and just cut some stuff up and load it up by hand. I mean, yeah, we might do that. So I guess we'll catch you guys tomorrow. 
All right, so it is the next day and we are already getting that dumpster out of the way. Once this dumpster is out of the way, we're gonna focus on our big project next. It's trying to get all the stuff actually on our trailer strapped up and take it all to the scrap yard. So let's go ahead, get this thing out of there and then we'll get on that metal. Now that we got that dumpster removed, we're gonna have this excavator for one last day and our main goal is try to get all this metal to the scrap yard. So we're gonna try to load it carefully on our trailer, see how much uh, we can actually load. We may have to make like a few trips, maybe two to three, but we have our guesses on how much money we're gonna probably make. I said 300 or you said 300, I said 400. Yep. So, I mean, uh, I really don't know. We do have some heavy material here. It is kind of mixed up between aluminum and metal. We're not gonna really focus on separating that. We're just gonna scrap it all at once. I know it's gonna be a little bit cheaper, but we just don't have the time lot, to do that. A lot cheaper, I think. But yeah. we got a big old heavy, uh, two steel. axles right there. We got yeah, some heavy steel That's all steel here. over there. So we'll probably uh, put most of the, like the big beams, like we have them big beams on that, uh, for now and just take all this uh little stuff yeah this uh, sheet the sheeting right here uh the sheeting is probably going to be the most difficult thing to take because just how it's uh bent and stuff yeah. it's just going to be all over the place but i'm gonna try to crush it with that thing hopefully make it a lot smaller compact it and just load it up on that trailer so let's not waste any time man uh the lot is looking a lot cleaner we do have a little bit of things still on here but we're not going to focus on that so let's go ahead get this big pile of metal out the way and then think we should be good. All right, so here we go. We're going to go get our first payload. First, first payload, first uh, amount of money that we're gonna make on this thing. Right. We've been spending tons of money on this property. Now it's time to make a little bit, make yeah. a little bit back. So this, we're not gonna, we're gonna calculate it all at the end, I think. Or yeah. We'll tell you guys how much this little pile is, and then we'll just add it up all at the end, and see who was closer. Let's do it. Good thing we don't got none of that. We just got one trailer for you guys, sirs. That's all we got, straight metal. We might have to break that speed limit, though. I, I'll tell you that right now. Two miles an hour. I think I'm going faster than that just sitting here. You can go at least three. We got some nice art here. That means they're going to pay us good. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. But dang, look at that machine. Imagine if you had that out there. It's a big machine. You'd be crushing that trailer in no time. But this place over here is actually really good. They give you top dollar and um, they take they, they take care of the stuff quick. You know, you don't gotta wait for them most of the time. They just snatch it up and go and go. Get paid and go. All right, so we are unloaded. That was pretty dang quick. Now we're going back on the scales. Yep. We came in weighing at least two thousand pounds extra. Nah. How much do you think this little load is gonna be? I have no idea, man. I'm gonna say like 50, 80 bucks, maybe. I say 80. Maybe. If if we're if we're good, if they're paying good today. Oh yeah. It's definitely. Friday too, so they better pay good. They better. All right, so we're finally back at the property. Our first little payload was $89. wasn't much. I thought it was gonna be more, but that's all right. We're just trying to get rid of this stuff mainly. It's just interesting to know how much it's gonna pay us but also we went ahead and brought in the skid steer i think i'm gonna be able to crush some more stuff he's gonna be loading some stuff on the trailer let's try to get the rest of this stuff loaded up and uh, scrap it as well all right guys so actually before we start operating we brought the blowtorch out here or the what do you call that blowtorch blowtorch or, or the torch. plasma yeah. plasma cutter or plasma torch or whatever settling yeah. torch whatever you call that thing we're gonna try to cut something over here, try to get these axles loose or try to just split this up. That way we could actually scrap it because it's so huge right now, it's gonna be nearly impossible to scrap it as it is. Yeah, it's too heavy for our machines. So if we can like somehow cut these axles out. I'm probably gonna try to cut these U-joints. Oh yeah, yeah. Cut the U-joint bolts and then hopefully these axles will just fall out. Then we could just, you know, 
Get him with that excavator. The rest of this stuff, yeah, it should be light enough to pick up, but this is the only heavy thing is these axles. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up, hopefully get them cut out. So there goes load number two. We're gonna leave that because we ran out of, uh, what did we run out of? The stuff for the torch right there? Yeah, we ran out of the torch stuff. The torch stuff. We may have to go get some more and then What is it, ox it up. it's oxygen and something else, I'm not 100% sure. But this load should be a lot heavier, I believe. Maybe, maybe the same, I don't know. That oh, one piece right here where the fifth wheel attaches is pretty heavy, so. That may bring a little bit more than, what do we have, $89? $89. I'm thinking this is going to be like a $120 load right here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because we're pretty far away from our $300, $400 range yeah. so far. So That's that's without that. So that's that's the competition right there, including that stuff over there. Yeah, too. once we get that cut, that's going to be our final price. And it may be around $300, maybe around $400. I don't know. Them axles are pretty heavy. That rear section is completely heavy. So let's go ahead take this stuff and then we'll be back grab some more of that torch supply and start cutting the rest of the trailer up so they got pallets of batteries just right there wrapped up it's like 10 bucks a pop that looks like about i think they i think he said he gives like i don't know how much cents a pound something like that they, uh, they go by pound yeah dang dude look at this heavy equipment dude look at that car crusher right there dude that's insane these boys are making some money though crazy dude look at all this junk that just piled up this ain't junk this is gold man well, yeah but i'm saying like to us it's thing. junk yeah. but to them this is precious metals Ooh -wee. you took that stuff over there that heavy piece went on the good side. So we just took the second load made uh what, what was it like 88 dollars yeah a dollar, a dollar less. less than from last time which was 89 dollars so we're, we're we're getting close at 200 dollars range but we got one last piece we got more uh acetylene or what was that yeah, stuff it's called on? acetylene and then we got oxygen so, so acetylene and oxygen there we got more tanks i'm gonna get straight to cut and try to get them uh, axles cut off they do take a while because i'm cutting the u-bolts and they're like literally like two inches round so i'm gonna get to cutting he's gonna jump on that uh, excavator and try to straighten most of this stuff out so let's not waste any time get straight to work Alrighty guys, so I just finished cutting the U-joints on just one axle. It took a very long time just because the metal is so thick and this torch right here just takes a very long time to cut through stuff. And there is two more like control arms holding the axle and that's just going to take way too long to cut off because it's actually uh, very late in the day and we have to return our excavator because we already had it for around like what, like three days? Yes sir, three days. Yeah, three man. days. So we need to go ahead and return it, let somebody else rent this thing out and then we'll be back here uh, the next day and try to get this completely torn apart try to get this thing in the scrap yard and see if we can reach our 300 400 dollar mark so we're gonna have to catch you guys tomorrow all right guys so it is the next day and we are heading out to the property i got a chainsaw because we need to cut that one tree down and we're gonna use this good old four-door jeep wrangler right here because we actually let one of our brothers borrow our truck he wanted to test it out and honestly he needed to cut some uh, grass out of property so we let him use it see what he thinks about it but for now we're gonna use the jeep we got our chainsaw we're gonna cut that tree down also we're gonna talk to you guys about the future of our property so let's head there right now all right so we arrived at the property man look how clean it looks dude it's still not a hundred percent oh it's, it's nowhere near a hundred percent get rid of all these tires a little bit of that trailer and move them trailers but right now we're about to move that tree whatever that big stuff yeah cut tree. it up into pieces pretty yeah, much cut it up stack it up and uh we may use it to burn something you know we may have a wooden stove in our shop i don't know <laughs> yeah for the winter time winter time is going to be here before we know it honestly it's right around the corner right around the corner but it is so hot dude you don't understand how how hot it is when you're just straight outside yeah straight in the sun it is really hot running them skid steer skid steer and excavator all day for like three days in a row man you get like overheated but 
got a big farmer's tan going, that's yeah. for sure. But let's go ahead and pop this sucker out. And uh, this is our main challenge today is cut this sucker up into as much pieces as possible. So we just cut up this tree as much as possible. The rest we're probably just gonna take to the house and burn it there because you know we can't burn in the city limits as I mentioned before. But as for the actual building that we're gonna build, we're probably gonna do metal building. We haven't 100% decided yet, but I think that's the most efficient way and just the best bang for your buck for the square footage. We're thinking about doing 70 by 40. So that's gonna be near 3,000 square foot, which is plenty I think for now. But as you know, you usually run out. So we haven't decided where we should put it 100%. Where do you think we should put it? I mean, I think, uh, as you can see, there is a old concrete pad right here. And I think this is the best position, honestly, yeah. because you do have your entrance right up front and we can have like a nice parking lot area up here. And that will leave us with a ton of room back there, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. So building right here, nice parking lot. We're probably gonna have to redo this tear it all up and pour a new slab definitely that sucker's gonna be expensive but you know you got to do it right and uh, we do want to like a little burnout pad right there in the middle probably and then we're gonna leave some grass because we may have might have adopted something I'm not gonna say what uh, you know how we've been dealing with exotic uh, cars we kind of wanted an exotic animal <laughs> <laughs> yeah well we got some security coming yeah and know? the only thing that's legal in the state here is gonna be a liger yeah liger or something like that no nah, I'm just kidding <laughs> you'll see we don't want to ruin it you guys are gonna be excited uh, you guys should be excited and we're just gonna be super happy to show you guys once we the are new, able to pick it the up new goon squad uh, member honestly pretty much yeah. so it's gonna be awesome but we got a ton of room back there for activities, as you can see. We may, like later on, if we do, we can expand easily. Exactly. You know? That's the thing about metal building, again, is you could add on or you could add other buildings. You know, we, we really want to do a paint booth. That's like one of our main things, but that's going to be later in the future. And before we could actually get started on doing anything, guys, we do got to sit down with an architect and pull some permits. Also go over the plans because this is commercial property. It is a little bit more difficult, but we're super excited to start this journey. And this is just going to be a dream come true once we get started on building the Goon Squad Garage. So we're super thankful for all the love and support. We couldn't have done it without you guys. And actually right now we're going to go to the original Goon Squad Garage and open up some of your guys' fan mail. So we are back in the garage and we do have some fan mail here that we're about to open up but we we're thinking we're just gonna go ahead and let you guys know that we did get a new shop dog and it's just a pup we're gonna be picking it up in actually a few weeks probably like two to three but we want to get your guys's opinion on a name we have been thinking back and forth we just can't come up with one so drop your comments down below and we may pick it so let's go ahead and open up some fan mail Ooh, what do we got here tecton yeah i seen what tecton, tecton? And i just want to go ahead and open tecton nice tecton. <laughs> Let's see what kind of tools they are. Tools? I think that's what, look, it even says right there, sockets, wrenches, screwdriver. Oh, let's we open this up. Oh, I see. Dang, that's dude. What I'm talking about. We always need screwdrivers. Dang, check that out, dude. That's like some quality stuff right there. That is legit. What else do we got? Another box. Ooh, I like the sound of that, dude. Tecton. I never heard of this place. The Tecton, never heard of it. Never heard of it either. Let's see I don't want to open it wrong. Oh, Dang. nice. You never have enough tools whenever you're working in a garage. Never, so. Can you believe that we've been working out of that toolbox? We fixed the land. We fixed all these bills with this this one toolbox. We're adding to it right now, man. We're gonna and that's going to actually help us in our new garage as well. So, appreciate it, Tecton, for helping us out. All right, another one here. I don't know what that is. What? Ooh, what is this? Oh, a first aid kit. We got a first... What? Oh my goodness. Dude, dude, a hang loose emblem. That is <laughs> sick. Is there a letter anywhere? We definitely appreciate it. Thank you for these cool, thoughtful gifts. Next one here, it says T is for tech from uh, IL Illinois right there. Mm, we cracked right open, didn't I know, we? I know, that was, was kind of weak right there. Hey. Ooh, what do we got here? A scanner? How do you know already? I just seen, I just seen like the OBD port or whatever. What? Is there a letter? Oh, yeah, nice. Definitely there is a letter. Have a letter. That is pretty cool, dude. Goon Squad. Hey, guys. Love the channel. I've been watching since the few 100K subs. Love all the content you guys have been pumping out recently, especially Lambo and Ferrari. I'm sending over this OBD2 scanner. Might come in handy at some point. Definitely, dude. Andrew Crozich. 
I'm not good with last names, like I said, but Andrew, definitely appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, what is this? No way. A we did talk radio. about getting one of these for the boat. Yo, dude. it actually it's Bluetooth and everything. We'll probably install nice. that sucker, dude. Nice. Definitely gonna throw this on. Any notes in here? Right there. Hi, Goon Squad. I noticed that you couldn't get your old boat radio to work. Here is a marine grade Kenwood that should be a great replacement from Jack Blackburn. Dude, oh, this is gonna be awesome in the boat. Definitely appreciate this, Jack. From Santa Fe. Santa Fe, where's that? California? Uh, Santa Fe, Washington? I think it's Washington. Nice. Oh my goodness. If dude. nobody noticed, we always struggle to find these things. We always lose them too. Oh, read that letter, dude. Definitely. Hey, how's it going? Love your videos and can't wait for more GTR videos. Would be awesome if you would uh, check out my channel at Auto Boys. I'm rebuilding a few cars and truck and on there and would love a shout out to grow my channel. Peace out, Auto, Auto Boys. Boys. Dude, you don't even know how much how how valuable these are yeah, to these us. These come in really handy. If anybody works on cars all the time, you know how handy them are. Thank you guys. This is from Rob Ferry. New York. We got a New Yorker. New York. We got some, uh, my brother-in-law's from New York. Never yep. been up there yet, though. We'd like to visit uh, sometime. What is that? That looks like a disposable camera, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a Ferrari. Something Ferrari. Go ahead and really? open that up first. Oh. What is it? What? Do you build your own little Ferrari or something? Dude, that is pretty sick. Is that the new Ferrari? I don't know. You read the letter. I'm going to open when this. When I was on eBay one day, I came across this Ferrari and thought of your Ferrari. I think it looks just like it, so I had to buy it for you guys. I hope you think it looks like it too. Sincerely, Robert Ferry. Dude, that is actually You put pretty that dope, together? Dude. Dude, that is dope, dude. That's definitely gonna go in our Ferrari collection. Thanks for the 458 Ferrari. Definitely a match to ours. We appreciate that, Robert. Mobile distributor supply. What? Mobile? What is that? Look what? at these little fancy little boxes right here. What is this? Nut, nut cups. cups. Two magnetic cups for your nuts. OEM tools. I love it. Dude, I want to open this up. Never heard of a nut cup. <laughs> nut oh, I guess for nuts and bolts, it's all go. magnetic. What's up, Goon Squad? Love your greetings from Tanu Stein, Germany, close to Frankfurt. Your channel is the first and only one I've subscribed. And the first thing I've done after register on Instagram was... Let Lefty Lucy get a grip on your nuts and bolts with nut cups. Whoever sent this, we definitely appreciate it. Thank you. All right. This one is from Thomas, man. Probably Thomas. our cat sent this, you know. Cat? You never know. Probably no. buying stuff <laughs> online. Somebody else's name is Thomas. Skyleap LLC. Ooh. Dude. More tools? Goon Squad. Sorry, guys. I messed up on your order. The real tools sorters are in the box now anyway. We love your show and hope you guys can keep on making really good ones. Speaking of which... Can you guys do a video where you fix an 18-wheeler? What? Uh, this is from Dylan. Dang, an 18-wheeler. We might have to fix the one that was sitting right there. We got it moved, but... Yeah, we, we moved it out the way, but dude, look at this tool sorter, dude. This is like what can go on our cart when we're working on Yo, cars. that's perfect for what we need to do with our toolbox. And tool we got a screwdriver out. organizer as well. It definitely needs to go in our toolbox. As you can see, we do have a toolbox, and they're just laying around everywhere. Also, some plier organizers. Dude, it's a bunch Dude, of organizers, some wrench man. organizers as we well. We do need to get organized on our tools, that's Dude, for that sure. that is legit. We're definitely going to be way more organized, and we definitely appreciate that, Dylan. Oh, damn. What, what is it? Hot zone. Do, do not, not touch, touch before... So this is from Dylan and his dad. I'm not 100% sure what it is. It looks like some kind of heating plate or some kind of hot zone. We're going to have to figure that one out, but we definitely appreciate it, guys. Crack it open. Oh, nice. A muscle car. They want us to do muscle car. got an old school Mustang. Is that it? No, 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 no letter or nothing. That is pretty dang cool. I've always loved this old school muscle car also. Yeah, that, but that's the, never that's got the Eleanor name. right there, dude. That's like oh, the million dollar muscle dang. car. If one of these ever pop up on the auction, we might have to buy it. So whoever sent this, we definitely appreciate it. Last one right here. This is from Rodney Tharp from Ohio. Oh, oh. Dude, that is beautiful, dude. That is sick. Look, and then you get the real deal right there in the back. Yep, we got the real deal. We got a Camaro. Now we need one of these Viper ones, and it can go right, right there where all our Viper collection is going on. Whoever sent this, uh, 
Rodney, we definitely appreciate it. Thank you. So that is going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. Thank you for all the love and support. Be sure to stay tuned. we got some more awesome content on the way. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram where you can get an inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you'd like to support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and copy some merch. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.